Hey Leo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the month of June of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the star at the bottom of the deck, which is Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius placements, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Rising. Um, honestly, Leo, your energy is coming through so strong, but so is um, just very powerful energy in general. We have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, the Sun, which is you, the Moon, which is Cancer, and the Eight of Wands. Now, to see the Moon and the Sun come out together, it kind of feels like something is going to completely shock you, take you by surprise, kind of like you can expect the unexpected to happen this month. I feel like you are manifesting something here without realizing it kind of like there could be some sort of subconscious wish fulfillment going on which sounds crazy and just bear with me but i do feel though that with that eight of wands you're going to be receiving some news communication information that is going to make you realize how badly you really want something and it's kind of one of those things where if you had never received this communication or information or whatever download or message this is you wouldn't have realized how much you want something, right? So it's almost like di divine intervention meets manifestation meets wish fulfillment. And that combination um, kind of creates this desire for something. And that star is kind of like that optimism, um, the hoping, the wishing. And then, you know, eventually you will see it. You'll see it happen right before you. I feel like right now the moon kind of holds the mystery of it all. And then eventually it will be revealed. So very interesting stuff. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the sun. And we have the justice, which is Libra. Yeah, I feel like right now there's something about a very interesting balance happening in your life, um, Leo, maybe within love. It kind of feels like in the past, maybe the recent past, you were kind of um, going through a situation where some things were not adding up or some things were not balanced in your life. Maybe emotionally you were trying to um, deal with the situation you were trying to get over something trying to move on but there was something that you felt was missing so i feel like now what's happening is the balance it's like whatever was missing you're gonna find it it's coming through um and i feel like you're gonna feel whole you know you're gonna feel a sense of completion um or completeness kind of like a deep satisfaction from whatever is coming into your life we have the queen of wands the ace of cups and the three of wands some of you could have moved or could be moving um, and with that move, with that expansion and that change of scenery comes about some sort of connection, uh, maybe in a relationship, maybe you're connecting to a divine feminine um, energy here, maybe a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. But at the same time, I feel like with that queen of wands, there's something about the energy with the person that kind of makes you feel different. It's like you're feeling a completely um refreshing and new kind of emotion i don't know what it is but i feel like you are either falling in love or you are maybe in love with a person or falling in love with a new chapter in your life maybe a career a job um yourself right it's like there's just something about you kind of embracing a new emotion after feeling a little bit kind of like imbalanced because of something that you went through or something you had to adapt to um, let's clarify the magician. Okay. Um, yeah, Leo, I, you know, I really do not, cannot make this up. We have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Kind of feels like you are going to be finding yourself in a um, relationship or some sort of connection partnership that is meant to last. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So not sure if you see that, but that is a whole lot of good stuff. I feel like with the Two of Cups, that's confirmation of some sort of divine connection. Again, you will manifest it subconsciously. It's like you don't know how much you want it until you find out, right? With that Ten of Pentacles, it's kind of also like there's a balance between your personal life and also your professional life kind of like money wise love wise things are starting to feel complete things are starting to feel balanced um some of you are well on your way to establishing financial security financial independence um stability even with this ten of cups there's a sense of you feeling emotionally satisfied with what's going on in your life to the point where you can kind of relax a little bit 
And with this Nine of Cups, it's that feeling of I can breathe now, right? So we go from being in, in a situation where there's a little bit of imbalance to I can breathe now. I can trust this. I can rely on this. I can see where this is going. I, I feel like there is just so many blessings coming through for you. But again, love definitely seems to be a big part of all of that. So very exciting stuff. Um, let's clarify the moon. Six of Pentacles. Again, there's that balance. It's like there's something that wasn't there that will be there now, right? And that's going to create some sort of um, feeling of, um, I'm getting the words of euphoria, ecstasy, and equilibrium. So you choose which one you think will apply best to your situation, but definitely feels like a sense of completion. Six of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So that is feeling like you've made it to the end, getting to your, you know, outcome, your ideal outcome, you know, your destination with a person, three of pentacles, working together, teamwork, kind of feels like you're going to be in a situation where you can actually work with somebody, right? Maybe this is about career. It's like you're finally feeling like you are in the right place, working in the right environment with the right people. Six of pentacles, again, something is balanced. Nine of pentacles, judgment, devil, which is Capricorn. You know, even this devil coming through, it's like you had to deal with something like this in order to get to this point. But I feel like right now you're kind of seeing this from a different perspective. I feel like this month, because of all of the amazing, beautiful things that you're receiving and feeling, Leo, I feel like this devil energy has no place. So it's just going to be a reminder of how far you've come, right? Like you're going to think of this negative, nasty thing and think, you know what? I'm so glad that I went through that because now... I'm in such a much better place that I don't know if I would be here if it wasn't for what I learned with that. So I feel like your judgment is changing because you are stable, you're happy, you're satisfied. And there's just so much, there's just too much good happening for you to not feel that way. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.